what's happening in Washington these days is a disgrace. Democrats have been taken over by radical socialists, and too many Republicans just go along to get along. Well, that's former NFL player, military vet, Republican senatorial candidate for Arkansas, Jake Beckett, and he joins me now. Jake, uh, I'm sure you know this, you're going after Senator John Bozeman. He is a Republican sitting senator. He has the backing of former President Trump, as well as other powerful Republicans. Why are you challenging him? It makes me think that this is a split party. Well, first of all, no one has more respect for President Trump than me. I just look at Senator Bozeman's record and I see it differently. Look, I, I see someone who's not standing up for Arkansas conservative values. I see someone who's a career politician who's been in Washington for over two decades, working on his third decade in Washington. I just think it's time for a change. Look, he supported budgets that fully funded Planned Parenthood, that's raised our taxes, that exploded our national debt. And he sig signaled support for radical policies like changing our, uh, renaming our military bases. Look, I, I think that kind of thing happens to even good people who spend over two decades in Washington. And look, I I'm not a career politician, okay? I'm an outsider. Uh, I'm a soldier, I'm an athlete, I'm a leader. And I intend to lead and stand up and fight for the conservative values that Arkansans and millions of Americans truly care about. So that's your appeal, really, that you are not a professional politician. You've not spent time in D.C. You're a different kind of guy. It, it, it seems like that's what Donald Trump brought to the scene. I mean, he, he was a businessman, a total outsider. He comes on the scene and does a lot of good stuff. You want to be the same kind of person. Absolutely. President Trump galvanized conservatives all over this country because he was an outsider. He did not come from the establishment political class. And I'm the exact same way. Look, I am not a career politician. I come from a sports background, a military background. I'm going to come in there and shake up Washington, help to drain the swamp. Look, I'm going to stand up and fight. Look, if you're a Republican politician these days and you're not leading from the front, if you're not rallying others to our cause, if you're not moving the needle and being a key difference maker on, on serious issues, you're not doing your job. And look, I'm always going to do my job and fight for the conservative values that our Kansans care about. Uh, as a former athlete, will you comment on this? This year's NFL season will reportedly include the Black National Anthem. Social justice messages will also be allowed on helmets. Look, NFL ratings are way down. Do you think this is going to help them? No, this is terrible. It's a disgrace. And I strongly oppose you know, this woke ideology that's infecting uh, so many American institutions and particularly professional sports. Look, as an athlete, it was a highlight of my career in, in collegiate and professional football to stand on the sidelines while the national anthem played, watching that flag wave, standing shoulder to, so sh shoulder to shoulder with teammates of all different races and backgrounds. Look, that scene right there represents the best of America. And, and to stand up, to disrespect our flag like so many athletes, Olympians, to, to engage in this woke virtue signaling like the NFL uh, is proposing this year, it's totally insane, it's anti-American, and it's not what sports in this country represents. Jake. Thanks very much for being with us today. Come back and see us soon, please. We want to know your progress in Arkansas and see how you're doing. Good stuff. Thank you, sir.